So I just thought I would give you a tour of my new uh, series of work. It's just four pieces and they are based on the landscape around the Uffington White Horse, which is in all of these pieces, although sometimes it's quite obscured. <laughs> um, and these were inspired by standing actually on the hill that the Uffington White Horse is on and then looking out at the landscape from there. So the actual White Horse itself is really foreshortened and quite an odd, sort of odd shapes. And if you didn't know what the White Horse is, it's um, it's a kind of a Neolithic uh, White Horse shape, giant White Horse, scraped into the chalk downland. And this is in, I think it's Oxfordshire, but it's certainly Cotswolds. Um, and uh, you can see it best, of course, from far away or even from above. Um, so close up is not the best way to see it, but I kind of like the strange shapes that it makes as you get closer. And I've kind of done here um, my usual thing of adding the weather over the land and the light over the land as well. So this started off as dry point etching. And in actual fact, I used a, a card, a piece of card for this dry point. So it's like shiny card, a bit like Tetra Pak. And then you scratch the lines into the shiny bit. Um, and when you ink it up, the ink stays in the lines that you scratch. So the line work on these pieces is dry point. And then also, I think I, yes, I'm pretty sure I collaged tissue paper, coloured hand printed tissue paper into the pieces as I printed the dry point. So you get swathes of colour, you get line, um, and then you can also mono print as well onto the plate as you put it through the press. So you get quite a lot of stuff on a first go through a press. But then, of course, I also like to bring the pieces home to my home studio and fiddle around with them there as well. So we've got extra collage here. And these, is, these are pieces of tissue paper that have been hand printed with oil paint. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see how I do that. I roll ink out, put the paper on, press onto the back and pull it off again. And that's basically how you make these beautiful marks and textures. But then you can collage it into other pieces like I've done here. Um, and you can see that actually the Uffington horse in this piece and a couple of the others was so obscured at some point that I've had to sort of re-put it in here. Um, and I've monoprinted as well over the top. So this is basically rolling ink out onto a flat surface and placing the entire print down onto it. Um, and you can either draw onto the back like I've done here or just press onto the back and you will get a nice swathe of textured colour as well. So we, st I start to sort of get these layers building up one on top of the other um, until you get these quite worked up textured pieces. Uh, and then again here I've actually done some drawing. So uh, my nice soft pencils, really great for doing kind of um, rain and rain clouds. And of course I've added in the, the sun being obscured as the weather moves over. And I love these kind of landscapes where you can, you just feel like you're on top of the world. And of course, a lot of these Iron Age hill forts, which of this, this is one, um, they are built um, on top of, you know, really high places. I've actually done a blog post called The High Places because I'm so attracted to them. But it's obvious kind of why people love them. You can see out, you feel like you're on top of the world, you can see as far as you possibly can. Um, and everyone can see you, of course from round about. And then this is the fourth one. And there's quite a lot of, uh, this is this was original mono print done as it went through the press. Um, and then it was a little bit dark, so I've covered some of that up and added extra pieces as well. And this is the original monoprint improvised sketch that I did um, that kind of inspired me to do this piece. So again, this was just a piece of shiny card, no, no scratching into it, just taking ink, rolling ink onto it, taking ink off with various implements, 
and creating this. And then this inspired me to make the final series.